Welcome to another edition of Trading Cards with Chris Fanboy. I'm Chris Fanboy, and today I'm going to be unboxing some stuff that I just got. I got this Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel, the black one, which is Twisted Nightmares, theme deck for Pokemon, um, Chaotic, which is, I didn't actually buy this, I just found this around the house, and finally, some stuff that I just got from the mail, because I've been buying stuff from the internet. So, why don't we check it out with Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh first. Okay, here we go. First off, we got this Yu-Gi-Oh playmat, Speed Duel, already got that, and we got two of these decks. Let's, let's start with this one. Alright, let's see. This one's pretty shiny. Got a duplication on that. Alright. Alright, now let's take a look. Let's take a look. We got another shiny one. It's pretty cool. That's it. Now next up is the Pokemon. We got this placemat which I already have, this damage counter which I already have, this checklist already have it, and we got a box full of cards, we got code, and of course we got this coin. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so we got some energy cards. Take a look at it. Got these, some more. Just go through the Pokemon cards and the Force Energy cards, even though the ones I already have them. But let's take a look. And I know there's no GXs in this theme deck, but. I just wanted to buy another theme deck, that's why. Oops, I skipped one. Okay. Professor's letter, alright. Finally, we got a Gia card. It looks really shiny looking, I guarantee. Alright, here's this chaotic starter deck, which I somehow happened to found in my house. Um, there's the website where you could enter the code, but it's not up there anymore. And it's the Danyan starter deck. So let's take a look. I remember that I used to have a collection of chaotic cards, but unfortunately I sold the rest because I wanted to get something good. So I have to repair my chaotic collection like I did with my Pokemon for anyone who doesn't know. But on the other hand, here's this playmat and the manual. Finally, we got the cards. Yeah, I, I I had these, which of course I'll show you the cards. I'm not gonna display the the cash for all these because the TCG doesn't seem to calculate the prices for these cards. Although there's some that I used to have, but I managed to get them back with this. I also have the previous cards that I still have, the remaining ones, which I'll show you later. We got the stages.
And of course we got the Master Code. You can upload your entire 49 card pre-constructed deck by entering this chaotic Master Code. You will still need to upload your four separated foil cards. And you got the code right there, but surfaces are no longer active, so it can be done. It's with stages and of course the creatures and attacks. Ooh, we got an ultra rare one. Oh yeah, Char. Still looking, looking. For, I'm still looking for that Maxor, but this is a really cool card. I definitely have to keep this one. Some, some more there upside down. This is a pretty shiny one. We got this Infected Parasite Token card. Yeah, I don't know why they made this, but still. Let's take a look at one of my Pokemon cards that has GX, EX, and other shiny cards. Now, some of these were from Val Village, while some of these were bought from stores, but let's take a look. Gyarados EX, that's a really shiny one there. Lima. Toho GX, Aloyan Executor GX, Celestella GX, Gumshoes GX, Blastoise GX, and Tapu Kuku GX. But wait, there's more! Here are the cards that I got that are reverse holo, but these cost less than the GX. But let's take a look at these. We got Lucario, Gengar, Chansey, and L Lucario again. So in total of these for these GX, EX, and Shiny cards, that's a total of $38.63, while the reverse holo is only $9.06 for all of it. Okay, I somehow forgot to mention, but I managed to get this Cooper AJ card that I got from EVX as a bonus when I bought all these Pokemon cards. So Take a look. All right there we go. There we go. Just the, the, the Pokemon Company International, and of course the card. Yeah, it's only 32 cents according to TCG, but it's pretty cool given the fact that it was a, a GameStop exclusive or EV Games exclusive or EVX exclusive, whatever you want to call it. But that's not the only one I got. I also got this Pokemon Sword and Shield free Shiny Toxtricity Shiny Toxtricity code that's free, but it doesn't work with Nintendo eShop. You need Pokemon Sword and Shield to activate it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, now that we cleared up all three of these, let's head on to the stuff I got from the mail. Some Yu-Gi-Oh cards in there. Okay, so this is from the mail, and it includes some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Let's take a look. Tape in my hand. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, we got shiny card. Ooh, I think I think pretty much all of them are shiny cards. Let's hope there's Exodia. Ooh, an XY card. Another XY card. A trap card. We got a spell card. Another spell card. Another spell card. Another spell card. Another spell card. Well, another spell card. Um, what's this? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but we got another XY card. A fusion card. Uh, Effect card, another effect card, another effect card, and oh, I think this is from the Zexel. Yeah, Zexel. We got an alligator Burt, <laughs> another shiny card, a trap card. Ooh, this one's a 
a gold card. That looks pretty cool. Well, it's not gold, but it's an effects card, that is. A uh, white card, and we got this card. Okay, so there's something that I didn't realize, is that none of these cards that I got weren't in English, as they were in French, Spanish, German, and Italian. So yeah, I, I didn't notice that they weren't in, in English, so... I'm not gonna count these because they aren't in English. And out of 30 cards I got, only 19 were in English, so... I'm not going to estimate the prices on the cards that aren't in English, so yeah. So all of these costed $38, and I was only able to get $18.89 out of it, so not a good deal. But Thunder Dragon Titan was the most highest one, with $5.48, I'll give it that. On to the last package of it. We got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and four booster packs. Check out this one. Let's start off with this one. We got Vision Hero Witch Raider. Star Drawing. Let's see. We got an XY card. Okay. Now we got some more, we got the middle of it. Let me open it. Okay, I got it open. So here we have his Elemental Hero Nebula Neos. We got a Link card, S4 Showdown. We got a Rectal card, that's pretty cool. Pendulum in Core. Knights of Armor Dragon, another Link card. Alright, on to the last one, and after that, I'm going to be opening some booster packs. Okay, on to the third one, and we got Deco Talker, Vis Vision Hero Poisoner, Free Range Monsters, And we got the XY card. So yeah, that's it. And now on to the booster packs. Let's try this one. Blazing vor vor Vortex. I think there's also one with Patum Rage. Yeah, I got four booster packs. So let's check it out. Okay, got it. We got Pendulum in Core, again. Alright. Second Blazing Vortex. Oops, I think it's... Okay. I'm getting some duplications on there. Ooh, here's one that I don't have. All right. All right. Now onto this one. Opening these are much easier than Pokemon booster packs, that is. It's my opinion. Ooh, this one's pretty shiny. Jack in the hand. Alright, on to the last booster pack. Oh, we got another one of these. And that's it. And yeah, there's no Exodia cards, but it's worth something there. $6.72. Yeah, we only showed the cards that were already bought, but look on the bright side. We made a good value there. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the trading cards with Chris Fanboy. I'll see you in the next episode. I'm gonna go pick up some more Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh cards.